They need courage. They need to be uh, extremely hard workers and willing to take risks. That's what makes a good dive. That's Chester. He's uh, old. Well, I'm only home for a week. So yesterday I had weights and then today I have two trainings. Uh, this bag I have, because I haven't been to the pool in like a week, so there's nothing in my locker at the pool. Socks, suits, uh, shorts, shirts, a towel, uh, sandals, shoes, water bottle, cream, and a chamois. Sometimes it gets rough because we're sisters and we're together all the time, so it's normal that we'll fight sometimes, but other than that, it's like training with anyone else. Pilates is uh, strengthening their core strength, so it helps them with balance and control. On the diving board, uh, you know, it always moves, so they can be caught in some precarious situations. Our dives are not always perfect, so to, to listen to the correction that we have to do and try to do it and it doesn't come the first shot, I think that's um, one of the keys is really you have no choice to be very, very patient and, and really listen to your coach and have a lot of trust in him to, to know that what he's saying is right. It's a way of life. I've been doing it for 35 years, so I, have, I don't know anything else. Athlete, sports, you know, I love it. Today is especially a really hard day. It's all our dives on 10 meter many times. And we have synchro this afternoon, so Wednesdays are hard days. Yeah, we have to start one step at a time. Not just throw ourselves off 10 meter right away. <laughs> The idea of a hurdle is basically how how high can you get that dive going. Pamela and Jennifer are some of the, the best at doing the hurdle. It's actually a lot of fun to work on because it's it's not easy. And when you do succeed in a hurdle, man, it can be beautiful. <laughs> Can't always be perfect. <laughs> I just want to go back in my bed. <laughs> I like Montreal because you, there's always something to do. There's a lot of good restaurant too, and instead of always being like focused on your training, sometimes you can only go out with friends, my friends Rosie and Megan, obviously. <laughs> We're always the four girls together. Yeah. Um, Pamela arrived um, after 2012 Olympic Games when Emily retired. It, it was kind of hard to, not giving, giving a shot, but 
I just got back from a bronze medalist with my ex partner that just retired. So the transition was was hard and like to learn. It's it's like starting a new relationship with someone else. We do a lot of active movements to make sure flexibility, mobility, stability, etc., are all solid. And then we're going to the workout. I make them suffer, and that's my goal. Make them work. You can't coming. cheat at all. <laughs> if I let them cheat, then they're not going to benefit us. They don't connect with big weightlifting. It's not in their genes in a sense. They're artistic athletes. They like to move. So to make the program too much about, you know, bulking and strong and stuff, they don't really connect with that in terms of what they're doing. Yeah. Time to go back to sleep. <laughs> gonna go home and rest because I'm sore. And tomorrow is a big day again, so. Bye. We're here in our uh, Canadian Halfpipe team top secret superpipe training facility. The reason this came into being is because we we bought the super trampoline.